the tech news then, creating a lot of unicorns, producing more unicorns, you say, than, uh, than Germany and France next uh, last year. How do you stop or do you intend to stop these unicorns being bought out by, by other money? That's a question that comes up from, from those in the tech industry. No, of course, look, I think also we should be clear, a unicorn, and maybe your viewers will know, but others might not, is a billion dollar uh, turnover a company. So this is a mm. real success story for the UK. And actually what we're seeing is that investors want to put money in. Uh, they're not necessarily uh, people wanting to, to sell out because actually these companies are very ambitious. They've often started uh, from very small entities and they want to grow and to scale up. They're employing uh, more people. And actually to outstrip in terms of investment, US and China, to have more of these uh, billion dollar uh, tech companies um, here than Germany and France, for example, is, as I say, it's a huge success story for the UK. And we absolutely want as a government to continue to support them. And so outstripping some of these other countries, certainly in terms of the growth numbers that you yeah. quote here. Um, let me ask you about uh, Brexit and the opportunities that Brexit might present then in this regard. Is there an opportunity to diverge from European rules in some areas, maybe around immigration or around data, to try and support the tech industry? Look, I think there will be. Obviously, uh, we've got to get uh, to the 31st of January and then obviously the trade negotiations are going to start with the uh, EU. Uh, but obviously colleagues are looking at uh, trade deals with other countries around the world as well. This is a very exciting chapter for the UK. Um, and you're right to say, I mean, one of the things, one of the reasons people wanted Brexit to, to happen was that the UK got to choose the rules that we were going to follow. And in some cases, I think we'll be able to have world leading rules set by the UK. And I think that will also help in terms of the investment environment, making it even more attractive. OK, Matt. Well, well you know, without uh, getting into the politics of it at all, Baroness, I can't understand why any startup or anyone who's deciding to um, create a business would want to do it in an economy that's about to break away from the biggest free trading bloc in the world. What sense does that make financially? Well, look, I think the point is that there are a number of different reasons why people will uh, set up in the UK. I and mean, don't forget, we, we've got lots of homegrown talent. We've got, uh, so I think, uh, uh, the number of you know, eight of the best uh, top 20 universities in the world. So people are coming here, they're studying, or they're, they're obviously UK citizens, setting up here, then wanting to expand. We've got great digital skills. We've got, obviously, a very active uh, and well-developed uh, VC investment uh, market. Uh, we've got a, a government that wants to support very pro-tech, pro-innovation, to support uh, further changes. So I think all of those factors, um, and actually I think for many of these uh, companies, they're not just talking about trading relationship with the EU, they're talking about trading mm. relationship with the world. Let me talk about something else, which I know is topical and also part of your uh, beat, Nikki, and that's surrounding Huawei and the use of Huawei yep. product in, in UK telecom systems. Clearly a lot of pressure being applied from the US to not allow Huawei into our system. So when are we going to see news on this? Is this going to come this month? Well, I, I can't put a timetable on it because this is a very important decision but the government is very conscious of the fact that we need to make that uh, decision uh, we know we knew that people are looking for guidance about the involvement of Huawei in our networks I just want to make it very clear Huawei will not be involved in our critical national infrastructure the decision the security the safety of that, that infrastructure is absolutely paramount when the government is going to be making uh, that decision uh, but equally obviously you know going back to what we just talked about 5g what is sort of tech 5g is very important uh, and the, the rollout of 5g in terms of encouraging tech companies mm. to be based here so there are a number of different factors in making that decision. Are you able to push back against US pressure then? Well, I think we will rely on the advice and the assessments made by our uh, security services, by GCHQ, uh, in terms of making uh, that decision. So, you know, we're very conscious of what our allies, the US, have been saying, what other countries around the world are, are saying, and we're going to make the decision taking all those factors into account.